Hey friends, we are continuing our uh, exploration through the various spiritual practices during the season of Lent. And this last week we were working on the practice of slowing down. Uh, one of you came up to me and said, Pastor Scott, if I move any slower, I'm going to be moving backwards. And uh, I recognize it, it's true that uh, depending on what season of life you're in, uh, you experience the, the tyranny, the burden of being hurried differently. Uh, but regardless of what season of life you're in, I think there is value in still uh, figuring out how to have uh, quiet time, solitude, uh, where uninterrupted time uh, with God. So I hope last week went well. This week we're going to move on to the spiritual discipline that is probably the staple of all spiritual disciplines, and that is the, the practice of prayer, the practice of prayer. So Christians pray. It's what we do. And, and if you think about it, uh, really the reason that Jesus came to this earth, the reason he died on the cross and, and took on our sin and then rose again was so that we might be able to pray, so that we might be reconciled to God, that a real relationship with God might be possible. And on this side of heaven, uh, the way we have that relationship is through the vehicle uh, of prayer. And so Christians pray, and, and really at the heart of it, prayer is something that's supposed to be so simple, like simply talking to God. And yet most of us would confess that it's anything but simple. I certainly would confess that in my life. And, and there's a lot of reasons for that. For me, one of the things that I, I struggle with it's kind of this wrestling with, does my prayer really do anything? Uh, and, and some people would respond to that, well, yes, prayer changes you. It, it changes the prayer. And, and for me, that's not enough. Like, I can't psychologically trick myself into praying if I don't really believe that my, my prayer does anything, accomplishes anything. Uh, so this is what I believe the Bible teaches, that God is... Uh, absolutely sovereign, and he is working everything out in conformity to his will. But what God has sovereignly decided to work out is that he is going to be responsive to his, people prayer, his people's prayer. Uh, that's part of his will. And so I can't explain how all of that comes together, uh, but I do know over and over again in the scriptures, we are invited, we are even charged to pray and the scripture promises us that, that our prayers matter, our prayers change things. So we're invited to, prayer, uh, to pray, and uh, Ortberg makes the case that our prayers should be what he calls simple prayers. And by simple prayers, he just means uh, don't uh, feel like you've got to pray about the things that you really don't care about. Um, pray uh, about what's on your heart and on what's on your mind. If there's something troubling you, if you're afraid of something, something's weighing you down, bring that to the Lord. A simple prayer, just like a child would bring a concern to their, their parent, uh, bring it to the Lord. And, and when you think about that analogy of a child and a parent, you know, a child comes to their parent and they don't maybe string all the words together in the right way and it's maybe not as eloquent uh, as they might like, and, and sometimes even the things they bring to their parents might be filtered with, with some selfishness, and yet they come before their parent with that. If you're the parent, uh, you know how to filter all of that out, uh, and you're delighted in the fact that your child is coming to you with what's weighing on their heart. I think God has the same posture towards us. So we needn't worry about like saying the right words in the right way, being like really polished or eloquent, or even if, you know, like maybe there's some selfish motives going on in our prayer, God can filter that out. Uh, so bring all of who you are to, to God in, in simple prayer. So that's our um, task uh, this coming week. That's our, not our task, that sounds terrible. That's our joy this, this week uh, that we get to do this. And so uh, it's up to you, as always, to figure out how you're going to put this practice um, into effect. Uh, but here's a couple of ideas. And, and the first one Ortberg uh, gives us, and he says, uh, determine to pray for five minutes. 
In other words, start slow. Start slow out of the gate. Don't feel like you've got to pray for 30 minutes. Otherwise, what you're going to do is pray for 30 minutes, and then you're not going to pray again for another week because you can't sustain that. Just determine to pray for five uninterrupted minutes uh, every day with the Lord. Uh, and then he goes on to add that it's really helpful to find um, a, a time, a set time and a set place where this is going to be where you do that every single day. Uh, this is helping establish a habit. Uh, if you think about it, there are so many things that we do just by habit. Uh, and so it's really important that we establish good habits. Every day when it's noon, uh, by habit, I have lunch. Sometimes it's not because I'm hungry. It's like it's noon and my brain tells me, oh, it's time to have lunch. So say your prayer time is 7.30 in the morning. You've got your morning routine. You wake up, you take your shower, you have breakfast. You've got your cup of coffee, 7.30 hits, and you're in your comfy chair. And uh, for the next five minutes, uh, uninterrupted time before God. Now, probably what's going to happen during that time, especially if this is is kind of a new uh, discipline that you're trying to cultivate is that as soon as you quiet your mind, uh, uh, quiet your heart, your brain's going to kick into overdrive and it's going to start thinking about all the things that you've got to do and you're, you're going to have thoughts firing left and right. One of the helpful things to do is have a, a note card where you can just write down as those thoughts come in, you know, write down what the thought is and then let it go. Like you're not going to forget it. You've written it down, then let it go so that you can, can focus on your, your time of prayer. So uh, five minutes, uh, and he makes the case, don't go longer than that. Even if the prayer time is good, like cap it at least initially at five minutes. So this is a practice that we can, can not only start, but we can, can keep, we can maintain. Uh, find a uh, place, find a time, a consistent place and time to do that. Uh, what else is helpful? Uh, maybe consider praying with somebody, maybe once a week. Again, it doesn't have to be lengthy, uh, but it's so there's something special about praying with other people to, to help get into the, the habit, keep us accountable to it. So maybe consider taking that on uh, this week. Uh, let's see what else. There was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, I already said it. Yeah, about the, the child coming before the parent. You know, like, uh, don't filter your own prayers. Uh, bring all of who you are to God. Um, and, and finally, I would say um, spend a significant amount of that time praying for people that you care about. Uh, there's this kind of this law at work that when we pray about people and the concerns of people, we find that uh, we end up loving them and and we're more concerned and compassionate about them. So, so pray for the people in your circle, in your orbit, and you'll find that God grows your, your heart for them, your love for them. All right, so that's it. Uh, I hope this is, is truly a joy uh, for you this week um, to begin to establish this habit of uh, coming before our God who loves uh, to hear our voice. All right, so let me pray as we commit this to the Lord. Father God, we thank you so much uh, that you have blessed us with the opportunity to come before you um, with everything that is going on in our life. And uh, Lord, forgive us when we um, don't come before you honestly, um, say the things that, that we think uh, that you want to hear. Uh, Lord, um, just give us courage this week. And I, I pray uh, that we would uh, start this um, this discipline uh, immediately. Whatever might uh, prevent us or uh, get in the way, uh, we pray that you would root that out. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I remembered what I wanted to say. Uh, that was the last thing. So you've just watched this video. Uh, before you keep scrolling on to other videos, determine right now what is the, the time you're going to do this, what is the place you're going to do this, and start immediately. Uh, because, you know, you skip one day pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be a week down the road and you won't have done it or you, you've done it once. Um, all right. Blessings.